वेलकम बैक टू आर प्लेटफॉर्म टूडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट कंप्यूटर माई टॉपिक बिलोंग टू क्लास नाइन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर टू एंड द नेम ऑफ चैप्टर वेरियस मैथड्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आर टॉपिक फर्स्टली वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस चार्ट इन दिस चार्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मैथड्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन because in this chapter we have to discuss the various methods of communication so there are three types of communication first is verbal communication second is non verbal communication third is visual communication verbal communication have a two parts oral communication and written communication and we already talk about verbal communication today we will discuss about non verbal communication so let's start non verbal communication non verbal communication means communicating without using of words oral or written when we do not use any type of word in our communication process either it is oral word either it is written word that is known as a non verbal communication in our communication process the absence of word is known as a non verbal communication it can be effectively used to enhance our verbal communication if we want to make our verbal communication effective more effective then we should try to use non verbal communication how can it help us in our verbal communication suppose that a teacher is giving you a lecture and she is not using any type of movement any type of eye contact any type of gesture then her teaching is not so effectively but she is using eye contact body movement explaining with the using their hands then it is more effectively it include our body language gesture facial expression eye contact pointing finger etc in this non verbal communication we can include body language gesture facial expression eye contact pointing finger etc non verbal sign can convey thoughts or feeling in absence of verbal communication there are lot of sign which can be share our thoughts feeling which we do not want to share with verbal communication so we can using the non verbal sign and express our feelings how we say something is often more important than what we say what is the way of our saying is more important than what we say sometime are the way of talking is more important now come to the next point but these thing we have to understand about the non verbal communication i hope you got the non verbal communication now come to the next point that is the different elements of non verbal communication we will understand about the different elements of non verbal communication first is facial expression it is most important noticeable aspects of verbal communication the look on a person's face is often the first thing we say even before we hear and we has to say means that with the help of our face we can understand many thing in this picture you also can see that he is laughing so he is in good mood he is feeling sadness he is in anger there are lot of thing we can understand with the help of our face firstly we see face after that we say what we have to we have to say suppose that if you go to a person and he is in anger mood then you cannot speak comfortably comfortable with him so the facial expression is the most important thing for a communication now come to the next point gesture conscious hand and the and the move, body movement and single are essential way to communication without words sometime we do not use 
any types of word and we only use our body movement like to pointing our fingers to thumbs up to thumbs down to asking something we can use many type of gesture we can ma use many type of body movement and we also communicate with the help of that uh, suppose that uh, we made a thumbs up then to appreciate something if we thumbs down then also say to loser you, uh, you are loser so these are the things some common gesture including waving pointing finger to indicate the things some unconscious gesture also convey one states of mind there are some unconscious gesture also be present how some time in class when you are not taking interest in study then you are trying to see the watch how much time has been remain then it also show uh, that you are not uh, interested in this lecture you are feeling bored so you are starting to watch the watch so this is the things we have to understand in the gesture portion now come to the next point that is voice non verbal com non verbal speech such as tone pinch volume modulation rhythm rate are essential element of communication when we speak other read our voice in addition to listen our word in the ex ex in the addition of our words there are something to notice in our voice when we speak to someone they notice our voice which type of tone we are talking which type of volume we are talking sometime we are anger then our tone has been changed our volume has been changed sometime we are feeling shy then our volume has been changed our tone has been changed mm -hmm. so uh, our voices tell many thing we do not are talking about the words we are directly saying but which type of tone we are using so when we communicate someone they firstly they listen our words but they also notice our voice they also try to read our voice now come to the next point body language we communicate numerous messages through body language we also communicate with our body language body language include facial expression eye movement hand gesture posture etc there are lot of things uh, include in body language our facial expression eye movement hand gesture posture etc things has been come our body language has been tell everything everything we can give many type of messages with our body language and body language all the things has been come for example standing erect means that you are standing stand uh, um, standing straight and leaning forward sometime you uh, you stand leaning way you leaning forward then it show that uh, that uh, that you are very approachable friendly if you are leaning forward it also show that you are very devoted to someone so this is the thing now our body language tell many type of things with the help of body language we can easily get he is confident or not sometime we are not confident it also show in our body language because we used to drinking water if we are not confident suppose we have to give any type of speech and we are not confident then our body movement our body language is tell everything that we are confident and we are not confident many thing has been convey with the help of our body languages now come to the next point eye gaze the movement of eye like looking staring blinking are essential form of a non verbal communication it also determines if someone is being honest or not 
द मूमेंट ऑफ आर आईज द आई कॉन्टेक्ट वी आर क्रिएटिंग ऑल द थिंग्स हैज बीन टेल मैनी थिंग इफ वी आर डायरेक्टली कॉन्टेक्ट विद वी स्टैब्लिश आर डायरेक्ट आई कॉन्टेक्ट दैट वी आर सींग वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट सो दे आर लॉट ऑफ मैसेज वी कैन गिव विद दी हेल्प ऑफ आवर आईज इफ सम वन इज ऑनेस्ट और नॉट इट ऑल्सो वी डिटरमाइन विद दी हेल्प ऑफ आईज वी ईजली गेट दैट इफ ही इज ऑनेस्ट और नॉट नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज फिजिकल कॉन्टैक्ट दैट इज फिजिकल कॉन्टैक्ट कम्युनिकेशन थ्रू फिजिकल कॉन्टेक्ट इज अनादर असेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ नॉन वर्बल बिहेवियर सम टाइम अ टच मे बी एबल टू एक्सप्रेस फीलिंग मोर इफेक्टिवली दैन द वर्ड्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉम हक फ्रॉम अ मदर कंसोल्स आर चाइल्ड मीन्स डेट फिजिकल फिजिकल कॉन्टैक्ट इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ अ नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन we also give many type of messages with the physical touch means that if a mother hug to his child that his child think that he has no fear to anyone so she can give uh, a message that he is secure when her mother is hug to him now there are also many things in has been come in a physical contact then if we have to congratulate to someone if we want to appreciate someone then also physical contact play a important role now next is dress and appearance in oral form of communication our appearance is more important for both side speaker side and the listener side both side has been most important thing uh, is our appearance so so our dress should be proper and our appearance should be good we cannot wear a casual dress in our school and sub- same like that we cannot uh, wear school dress in any party so if we want a proper impact in our audience on our audience then we should to dress up well and our appearance should be good now come to the advantages of non verbal communication non verbal communication complement a verbal message i already told that it enhance our verbal communication means that it is a complement of a verbal verbal messages if we want to make more effective our verbal com- verbal communication then we should use to non verbal communication next is physical gesture great help the handicapped people it is uh, it is a important tool for a handicapped person it play a very important role in the life of a handicapped person now come to the disadvantages of non verbal communication it is difficult to analyze a non verbal message sometime we are confused we do not get properly understand a non verbal communication this is the most important disadvantages of a non verbal communication sometime we misunderstand the messages because we do not get a clear message so may there is lot of chance of a miscommunication in non verbal communication long conversation and necessary explanation are not possible with the help of non verbal communication we cannot do a long and the necessary communication we need a verbal communication for doing lengthy and necessary communication this is the another disadvantages of non verbal communication i hope you got the points you understand these points if you got the points if you understand anything uh, uh, anything points in this video so you like it you share it and you subscribe it thanks for watching my video